All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. A heavyweight title fight for five rounds brought to you by Polly's Pub and Freshwater DJs. And introducing first out of the blue corner with a record of four wins and no losses, standing at six feet, five inches, tipping the scales at 259 pounds. Representing McCune's MMA, fighting out of Bloomington, Minnesota, Steven Concrete Asblood. And his opponent, with a record of three wins and only one setback, standing at six foot three inches, Weighing in at 242 pounds, representing Morph MMA, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Scott Riddler Milnick. And your referee for the action is dancing Dave Doucette. So we had the Joker earlier, Doomsday, and now the Riddler. It's been a comic filled night tonight. Angry fights. Asplund in the black and blue. And Riddler, well, in the Riddler. These are boys are throwing heavy. Oh, nice right hand by Asplund. Right, right. And that's what we saw in his first fight with Ignite. Big leg kick, too. Heavy leg kick. On another. Yeah, the way he's angled, he's open for those leg kicks. That's going to land a lot of leg kicks. He's got to set him up a little more before he eats a punch with him. Now, this is where Milnick wants to be right over here. See if he can use some of his judo to get the fight to the ground. If I were Steven Asplund, I'd separate and start throwing from here. Yeah, he was having a lot of success. And against a judo guy, you don't want to be clinching with him very long. Asplund's got the deep underhook. That's a good way to escape. I just push off and start throwing. I'm kind of surprised he wants to wrestle so much. And that is exactly why he should have separated. Good job by Milnick. Backs up his hips. Get hand clear, get hand clear. And there was Scott Milnick's bread and butter there. The yeah, Asplund's in a bad spot. He's going for an Ezekiel here. He's going to want to go to mount so he could put the center of his gravity over that choke. Hey, knees, knees, knees. Asplund needs to fight these arms off. Right knee, right knee, right knee. Yeah, Milnick's in no rush. He's in a great spot. He can take his time. Knees. Looks like Asplund knees, keeps knees. attempting a key lock. He's not going to get it from there. It's no. definitely not going to happen. He needs to do something with his hips. Get out of that lock! I, I wouldn't even worry. His corner screaming, get off the lock. I wouldn't even worry about it. It's not happening. Ten seconds left in the round. I'd like to see Milnick do a little more damage here. He had a really good controlling position. Yeah, he's going to need to be a little bit. Aspen's going to need to stay away from Milnick in this round. He's doing a really good job throwing those long punches at him, connecting, throwing hard, and he was doing a good job with the leg kicks too. I wouldn't clinch. Ooh. 
Kaskin tried to dig to the body without setting it up and paid for it. Yeah, Milner keeps circling on the left on a right-handed fighter. I wonder if Oh, there that. we go. Asplin learned a little bit. Got caught in the clinch there. Pushed the way to separate. Nice Ooh, Exactly what he needs to do. Good stiff jab by Asplin at that end, too. Nice kick. Milnick's going to need to pressure and clinch. Asplund needs to stick with more of those overhands because Milnick has his lead hand just down by his waist the whole time. Milnick's chin's been tested here. Asplund's landed a few of those left hooks. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, nice feint. It looked like he was going low and came up with that overhand. That was good. He's got to stick with the leg kicks, too. He's doing a good job of wearing them down with those. Yeah, Milnick's breathing out of his nose. His head's being pushed back with those jabs. He's got to clinch. He's got to do something. He can't keep walking backwards the whole time. There you go. Those leg kicks are hurting him. He's got to, he's got to pressure. He's got his back against the fence. He's got to take the center and work his way in. Milnick's got to get into the clinch. Or at least stay active with the jab. Just give him something threatening, keep him at bay. Asplund's doing a really good job taking the center of this cage and keeping it. And Milnick keeps circling left right into his right hand. He's got to go the other way. Right there is when Asplund should be throwing that right. He'd walk right into it. If Aspel just puts a good combination together, two to three punches, he'll be able to connect on, on Milner. But just throwing one at a time isn't going to get it done. Yeah, right now is when he... There you go. Yeah, like you're saying, Rick, he, he's, he's throwing, he's doing one and dones the whole time. He's yeah. really got to double, triple these up, and he's going to have a lot more success where he could actually put Milnick away. He's snapping his head back almost every shot he lands. He just has to follow up. So appears to be tied up one to one. But all the momentum is going in Aspen's way right now. Oh, for sure. Milnick really needs to take this to the ground. He's got to clinch, he's got to put him against the fence, and he's got to work his way back down like he did in the first round. Nice tee. Asplund keeping the rither with his back to the cage. A lot of forward pressure. Asplund needs to just at least pump that jab a couple times before he throws that overhand right. Just a few more punches in front of the big power shot is what he needs. Now this is where Milnick needs to be. He's got a hand fight from here, which I think he's going to get out. I don't see him getting guillotined. Just yet, anyway, or Darst or anything. I know Aspen's trying it. Uh, he's got the arm in there. He's not in guard. Keep your feet. A standing one arm guillotine is going to be tough to finish. Stand well, up. now he's got his back against the cage. Now it's tighter. Now it's tighter, and he taps. He oh, got that wow. arm out of there in a much oh, better position. Wow. Once he made that adjustment and removed that arm, that's all she wrote.
guillotine finish for Stephen Asplund. I was surprised that he went for that clinch, was able to secure that against a judo guy. Can we get Sarah Hung to the cage? Sarah Hung, cage side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called an action. Dave Doucette has called the action at a minute and 24 seconds into the third round. Your winner by guillotine choke, Steven Concrete Asplot. And the winner of the heavyweight title. Avery Fountain. Your credit card has been turned into the DJ booth. Avery Fountain. Your credit card has been turned into the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs>